If you're a dog owner with toy or miniature breed dogs, someday you'll probably have to deal with a luxating patella. If that happens, most vets will tell you that surgery is the only solution. But the truth is, is that there are lots of natural ways to help your dog with this problem without surgery. I'm Vanessa from Dogs Naturally, and today I want to share five ways you can manage your dog's luxating patella without surgery. Before we do that though, make sure you click subscribe and hit the little bell icon below so you don't miss any other helpful videos from this channel. First, let's make sure we're clear on exactly what luxating patella is. Patella means kneecap, and to luxate means to put out of joint or dislocate. So a luxating patella is a dislocated kneecap that moves out of its normal groove. It's very similar to a trick knee in humans. When this happens, your dog can't move or extend his knee properly. This can cause limping or an abnormal gait. It may also cause pain and eventually arthritis. About half of dogs with luxating patella have it in both knees. Miniature and toy dogs are especially prone to luxating patella, but plenty of large breeds are also susceptible, including Labrador Retrievers, Golden Retrievers, Boxers, Huskies, Great Danes, and more. Wondering if your dog has luxating patella? The most common symptom, especially in small breeds, is a skipping. You may see your dog hop along for a few steps, then go back to normal movement. You might even hear a clicking sound as the kneecap pops out of alignment. You may also notice your dog has a bow-legged stance from behind, sits with his knee pointing outward, or walks stiffly or awkwardly. These are all signs of luxating patella. Now that we know what luxating patella is, what options are available to manage it? Vets will often recommend surgery. The problem is, is that according to several research papers, luxating patella surgery isn't always smooth sailing. One 2019 UK study found complications in 37 out of 100 surgeries for dogs under 44 pounds. There wasn't a significant difference between the different surgery types, and the complications were quite serious, ranging from fractures to ruptures and wound reopenings. Another 2006 study found only an 18% rate of complications, but other research has found a 51% rate of complications, with 38% classified as major. The results of these studies are very different, but even the best results suggest you should use caution and only choose surgery when conservative management doesn't help. So with that in mind, I want to share some of the more natural, conservative options out there for managing luxating patella in dogs. Nutrition is the foundation of good health, whatever your dog's condition, and it's no exception when it comes to luxating patella. Focusing on proper nutrition can help promote healthy, functional connective tissue, provide building blocks for collagen synthesis, control inflammation and pain, supply antioxidants, and prevent osteoarthritis. Feed your dog a whole food, raw meat-based diet, and always avoid kibble. You can consider supplementing with omega-3 fatty acids, which are anti-inflammatory and can help regulate cells and cartilage. Excess weight puts more pressure on your dog's joints and can make him lose mobility quicker, so don't let your dog get overweight. Every vet will recommend reducing your chubby dog's weight to help him with any joint problems, so keep him lean. Again, a raw diet will help with this. You may wonder if you should still walk your dog with luxating patellas. The answer is yes. Regular walks will help keep your dog's muscles and tendons strong and support the joints. But don't do too many long walks. Several shorter walks a day is the best approach for dogs with luxating patella. Vaccines can create antibodies that destroy your dog's collagen. And collagen is the tissue that stabilizes your dog's joints. It's in more than 70% of your dog's muscles, tendons, ligaments, and other joints. When joints lack collagen, the muscles and tissues also become brittle. This leads to inflammation, pain, and eventually joint disease. So don't over-vaccinate by following conventional vet vaccine schedules. The only vaccine required regularly by law is rabies every three years. For other core vaccines, your dog is likely protected for life by the puppy shots he had. So do your research and only give the minimum vaccines your dog needs to protect him from disease. There are also other hands-on physical therapy options to support your dog's structural health and help manage luxating patellas. These include hydrotherapy, chiropractic care, massage or manual therapy, laser therapy, and acupuncture. 
Your vet or surgeon should be able to refer you to a local veterinary rehab specialist. They'll recommend the right physical therapy options for your dog. There are also some exercises you can easily do at home with just a few minutes of effort daily. For example, you can have your dog move from a sit to stand position several times in a row. You can also find a steep hill and have him walk up and down and zigzag across the face of the hill. Lastly, underwater treadmills or swimming can also strengthen the surrounding knee structures. Water resistance helps build muscle strength and the buoyancy makes it a safer workout. Using all these options can help prevent luxating patellas in your dog. If your dog is already showing signs, you may also be able to avoid surgery by following some of these practices. If you have any more questions about your dog's luxating patella, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and visit dogsnaturallymagazine.com for more information. Thanks for watching.